Exactly. So that's an important point. We actually believe strongly that there's value to be gained from both of these perspectives, in fact, from all these different methods. So, for example, I, I've discovered things by doing logs analysis that I would go out in the field and validate in the field and say, wow, who knew? But this is really happening, right? Uh, and, it's, and it's worked the other way around. Uh, I'll give you a, a great example of this. Uh, I was doing a, a study a while ago about how people used our advanced search UI. So, you know, when you click on the advanced button, you get all the new options. Yeah. So we've got that. And I was out in the field, I was watching people use it, and mostly people would look at it and go, huh? Oh, okay. If you would talk to a librarian, he or she would say, yeah, I know this, I got this, I got this cold. Well, but then I saw a couple people who had obviously never seen it before, they clicked through to the page, and I remember one, I, I was interviewing a woman here not far from Mountain View, it was a hot August night, and she literally shrieked, she said, what? is that and she hit back okay so so what happens is in that case that was really a striking finding so the next day I came into work and I thought gee I should be able to find some evidence for this in logs if this is happening it's such a, a striking experience for this for this person I should find some evidence in logs so I did the obvious logs analysis and discovered that the bounce rate for the advanced search page was around 80 percent now 80% is really high. Now, just to calibrate it, 35, 45%, that's actually pretty good. Uh, typical website will have a bounce, bounce rate around 50% or so. But 85, no. Yeah, exactly. And mostly we know they didn't come back. They had such a bad experience. And this is terrible. So, so we uh, started up a, a UI redesign effort. And we took, oh, I guess it was about two months. And we it made a lot of different iterations. We did a lot of live traffic testing, we did a lot of usability lab testing, and we came up with a new design. Here's what the good news was. So we ran it, we got to a design we liked, we started running the logs analysis on live traffic, and we discovered the bounce rate dropped to 40 percent. So I'll tell you what the, the major change in the UI was. It was actually taking the, the things that were really scary, like the copyright uh, legal requirements and date range specifiers and all that stuff, and putting it in a zippy. So that you, if you wanted that stuff, you could zip it and get more options. But when you landed on the page, it wasn't a frightening page. You know what I mean? Yeah, well, you know, you can't tell a book by its cover. Well, I'll tell you, a lot of people reject books because of their cover. <laughs> And, and, and that's what's happening. We, we know from other work that the first 100 milliseconds of perception of a web page determines a lot of your response to that page, a lot of your effective response. So we needed to fix the first 100 milliseconds. We've got a lot of capability there. And right now, one of the things I know is that most people don't know the stuff, the range of things that are possible. And so we're trying very hard to figure out how can we make more of this discoverable, visible, understandable, 